is your First Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. It is really humid out there tonight. The temperature is 63 and we've also got relative humidity at 63% in Pueblo. Still mostly clear skies from Stonemore Hills to Eagle Ridge all the way out to the Mesa where they're already starting to roast some of those fabulous Pueblo chilies. That easterly breeze though is going to entice in more low level moisture so it's going to be quite humid with a lot of fog and low clouds across parts of Pueblo County. Here's that weekend forecast and it is really going to heat up Sunday sunshine 87 the afternoon high temperature Pueblo. If you're headed out to the State Fair this weekend Sunday, of course, Fiesta Day, you will feast on a big helping of summer heat, sunshine and 94 degrees. Here's what happens around here tomorrow. Again, some of us will start with low clouds and fog due to that moist upslope flow. So again, as you walk out the door tomorrow morning, 6 to 8 a.m., low clouds and fog. That stuff burns off quickly after 8, though. By 9, I think will be sunny. 10 a.m., lots of sunshine, beautiful temperatures of 70 and 74 degrees. Still lots of sunshine as we work into the mid afternoon hours. This is usually when we start to see those thunderstorms start to fire up across the higher elevations. The air mass too stable and too dry around here tomorrow to support any thunderstorm activity. I think it's going to be dry all across the viewing area. Even at sunset tomorrow evening, mostly clear skies with some pretty decent temperatures once that sun sets. Today unseasonably cool by a couple of degrees. Pueblo 86 in the spring 78 today. You can see our average high this time of year is 80 degrees. Outside right now, very comfortable overnight low will be a little cooler than these numbers. In fact, across some of the higher elevations, crisp and cool. Look at a West Cliff dropping down to 47. Woodland Park 45 will be in the 50s and 60s up and down the I-25 corridor. Tomorrow it's going to be noticeably hotter. Don't enjoy or don't get used to that uh, nice cool air we had today because it is really going to heat up temperatures tomorrow back into the 90s across parts of the viewing area. Those low clouds early give way to sunshine and the wind really not a problem tomorrow. Just a light breeze out of the south anywhere from five to a occasionally 10 miles per hour, so a pretty docile day, at least as far as that wind goes. In Colorado Springs, we really heat up on Thursday, cool down 80 degrees the afternoon high as we launch that long holiday weekend. Cold fronts coming in, so I think that'll support a couple of thunderstorms across the Pikes Peak region on Friday. Mainly dry Saturday. Yes, there's an isolated thunderstorm in the mix. One could drift off the hills. If it happens, it certainly won't mess up your plans. It'll pass very quickly. Then warm and dry. Maybe hot's a better word to use by Monday with a high of 91 degrees. In Pueblo, I hope you like it hot. Big time heat on Thursday. Then that weak cold front knocks temperatures back 10 degrees on Friday. More more low level fuel on Friday that'll help to spark an afternoon thunderstorm. Then it's just plain old uncomfortably hot for the rest of the long Labor Day weekend. Sunday, September gets off to a sizzling start with a high temperature close to the triple digits for Canyon City. Best chance of rain will be Friday, just an isolated passing PM thunderstorm possible Saturday into Sunday, and it's going to be a sunscreen and deep weekend. Plan on some quality time with the shade on uh, Sunday and Monday. Those temperatures unseasonably hot for early September and for Woodland Park. We need some rain up there. Certainly not going to happen the next couple of days. Little better chance of landing a passing PM thunderstorm Friday into Saturday than just warm and dry for the rest of that holiday weekend.